So let's look at how we would import songs from other Power Music databases. If we go to File and import from another source, so for instance if it was an older version of Power Music, Power Music 3, and we've upgraded to Power Music 4, you would go here. Or if you've bought other Power Music based software like the Spring Harvest Digi Songbook that I've got here, or it could be the Kevin Mayhew system, or it could be some other Power Music based songbook we can simply import from there and what happens is this looks exactly the same as our PM zip export and import where you've got the list of all of the songs that are in that database you can selectively move ones over and using the control key you can make a multiple selection and move them over and once you've selected the ones you want to put in you just go import and that will put them into your current Power Music database I'm not going to do that for the moment. I'm going to show you how you can also browse to a backup and restore stuff selectively from a backup. So we'll go there, we go to import from another source and say no thanks, I'll browse to a different source, for instance a backup. I browse there. Now in a previous tutorial I made a backup of my database and here it is here. I'll just select the folder and inside the folder I find the database and I go next. And what I see now is I see a list of the songs and music that are in that database. Again, I can select the ones I want and by importing them, I can put these into Power Music. So if you've made a backup and you don't want to restore all of the songs back from the backup, you can use this facility to selectively import only the songs that you want from a backup or from another Power Music source.